Hello, it's me again, day number two of having lymphoma cancer. My name is Bradley Davey, aka Grigori Securas, aka Connor McBride. After letting it sink in for the second day of having the news that I have lymphoma cancer. And it starts to become more surreal of what's going on. You start to accept it. It doesn't get easier. But now it's just gearing down and just fighting the battle. I was at the hospital the other video. I'm at the one and only St. Paul's Hospital in Vancouver downtown, British Columbia, Canada. And this hospital actually saved my life once before, about three and a half years ago, four years ago, where I almost died from Lemonia. Given only I had two months left from what the doctor said. And they put me down right away and they put me on antibiotics for about a couple of weeks and pretty much saved my life. So I have no doubt that the healthcare in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada is probably one of the top in the world. As many people here in Vancouver do get cancer, there's a better rate of surviving than actually dying for most cancers. So I'm just hanging at the garden fourth floor area of the building. It's a beautiful day, it's about, I don't know, it's going to reach today about 27, 28 Celsius. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit, just Google it. Had my breakfast. My friend Julie, which is my best friend, just showed up, brought me breakfast too. So uh, I'm trying to eat more food ratio so I can keep my weight up. So in case if I do get severely weak and sick, at least my weight could hold me up and have a better chance of surviving any illness in that way. It's not really much to say besides it is what it is and I just have to battle through it. When I said I'd be bringing up many stories of my life livelihood from as a youngster right up to now. I'm talking about cancer. My adopted mom, Labrini Takuras, also had a few illnesses. She had a blood disorder which was TTP. And after when she beat a really rare illness that most likely people died from it. She ended up catching cancer between the eyes and the brain. And it was tough. We were going in the hospital for about on and off for about 11 years. It was probably about A good six, seven years out of the 11 years, but she was in the hospital battling. Damn thing would just not go away. They just keep coming back. And they have to keep doing chemo and radiation treatments in order to beat her cancer. But the sad truth was that because it kept coming back, they have to keep doing chemo and radiation day in and day out. 
to the point where they overdid it to try to beat it. They eventually did kill the cancer, but unfortunately it also killed many of our good cells and genes in our body, which she ended up losing half her sight, most of her hearing, and she couldn't swallow because she had no spit from the chemo and the radiation. And it came to the point where she had to only eat little bits of food and she had trouble swallowing the water where she would end up always choking or borderline drowning from when every time she would swallow something or it would get stuck in her throat and she would have to forcefully try to get it out which would end up popping a vessel which would end up bleeding and other stuff. Even though my mom was only given a chance to, my adopted mom was given a chance to survive, which was only 15%. She was able to fight for 11 years the cancer she had, and she beat it. Though in the end, the chemo and the radiation is what ended up killing her. The sad truth was, the chemo and the radiation caused so much damage where they had ended up putting a tube in her stomach because she couldn't swallow anymore. And because of COVID-19, I'm probably not even allowed to say that. So I'm going to edit this part out. Because of the illness we had over the world for the last two years, I'm sure I could say that instead of the word. I, well, my mom, she ended up being stuck in the hospital on her own for about three months. And she eventually became, she was gone in the brain, she wasn't there anymore. And then she passed away. But based on the 11 years of seeing my mom fight, two of the worst illnesses you can get which was one was a blood disorder TTP and to be one of the few people that don't to survive that and also to be cancer even though her odds were against her she taught me a very good lesson no matter no matter how messed up things look no matter how the odds are against you, as long as you got the will to fight and a few people, few people there to be by your side, you will make it through. And that's what I got from my mom, my adopted mom. To never give in, never surrender, face it and beat it. And my adopted mom came from, at a young age, from, from another country. The odds were always against her, but she was always able to find a way to not only survive, but to thrive. And that's why I respect my adopted mom so much, because she's taught me to do the same things. So... As I'm sitting here at St. Paul's Hospital, looking at my situation, what's going on right now, I'm not going to let it beat me. I will keep fighting. And I will beat it. Because I have goals. Goals of helping others. Of making a difference in people's lives. And that's what I love to do the most. So first I gotta beat this. And then I can help others. And that's my long term goal. I have many ways and many plans that I did in the past. To help others and I'll continue doing the same thing as soon as I'm out of here. And I have even better ways and bigger ideas of what I want to do. To help my community. So, as my second vlog. 
sitting here at the hospital signing up.